everyone, welcome to FA channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. Our channel reached 1,000 subscribers! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let's see how, how happy my face can be. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! It's not really just about the number of the subscriber. I'm really happy that we get a lot of engagement, more and more engagement, more and more questions, more people on the Discord server, and then our community is getting bigger and bigger. And then I just feel, now I feel very, every time when I do a new video, I feel more uh, motivated. And then I really just wanted to communicate with you guys. And so whenever we have questions, we try to answer as soon as possible. Some people just suggest us to make make some videos to explain certain topic and yeah for the last video we did follow up and this video is another follow up with here's a question Kim B was asking if we can talk about how to change background for streaming and recording purpose when you use your avatar so in this episode let's talk about how to use chroma key with your avatar for recording and streaming purpose so we'll talk about specifically three face tracking softwares that we always talk about, free tenant, VC face, and animes. And then one of the free broadcasting software that we mentioned so many times, OBS. OBS is a very great recording software. We use it for Twitch streaming. And that's another thing I want to talk about later. And if you want to, if you want to know how to use Twitch with the OBS. We had made a video about it. Please go take a look. This video is just about the chroma key part. So yeah, let's dive into each of the face tracking software and let's go. Okay, now get, let's get started. Let's start with the most common software we use, VC Face. So VC Face doesn't really have the custom background uh, in on their software. So what we do is to go to the OBS on the OBS, add the VC face image as the game capture device. And then on the property, allow transparency. Then you will have the transparent background. When you stream, you can add the background behind this layer because it is transparent. Now you can see the game behind the, the layer that you added. So when you do recording, you want to add it the layer in other video software. So when you're recording, you want to edit the layer later. In, so now you need a green background. So what you need to do is to go add the color source on the source window and then select color. Usually the green color is 00 FF00. That's the green, green, green hex code is 00 FF00. Then now you can record you can record after record, you can go using other software like Premiere or Final Final Cut. For in our case, we use Premiere. On Premiere, we just drag ultra key on top of the video and then pick the green color from the footage. Then it chrome really well. It the keying is really well that you can add any kind of background. It's so much easier than you have the real footage with the green screen because you have to use real lighting to make the green make the screen background balance well to be able to key well. I think and that's one of the big reasons we're using avatar to talk in front of camera showing our knowledge or continue making great content on our channel because it's way easier to use avatar. And next is using using 310 and Pro. 310 and Pro have its own recording function, but we still prefer OBS because it's easier to control. We just find it easier to record with OBS. So when you have, when you use the 310 and when you open the software, you will see the default color like this, but you want to change to that to green. So you will see this little image icon on the left side. Just click on that, change the background color to custom color, and then choose green or blue. In our case, we always choose a green color because my avatar is based on your avatar color. 
because my avatar color is more like bluish, so I add the green as a background. Now you can go to the OBS. You will see the three tenant layer on OBS. Uh, now, instead of adding the game capture device, like uh, like VC face we did before, now you instead of adding the game capture device, you are adding video capture device. The reason why we do that is because video capture device is the the three tenant pro had the function. It's called virtual camera function, which means the computer can recognize. 310 as a webcam also means you can use 310 Pro as like the webcam to do Skype call and zo or Zoom call. So choose the video capture device. But this one doesn't have the transparency background function. So if you want to do the stream, you have to go to the OBS to do the chroma key on the OBS. How you do it is to go to OBS right click on the three tenant layer and go filter and add effect filter and then add color key choose grain all this process will record and show in the background and then now you will see it's already keyed you depends of course depends on your avatar again if it's not you need to do so, do some adjustment it's pretty easy to do it depends on your avatar you want to make sure there's no more green around the edge now you can add a game and then to stream, add, add the game on the background and to stream. So I don't know if I mentioned before, um, we are starting a new Twitch channel that I wanted to, there's a new game that I really want to play. It's uh, it's like a summer vacation of Xinjiang. And then it's also very basic Japanese that you can learn like uh, this game is only available in Japan and it's only in Japanese language. And then I want to use this chance to learn the language with my partner. So we're going to stream on Twitch. I want to do this like one-on-one -on -one conversation and learning Japanese with my partner. So we want to use two avatars for the streaming. And 310 Pro is the best software for that because there's no other software I can use two avatar to stream at the same time. So if you, if you guys are interested to do a streaming with two avatars, 310 and Pro is definitely the best one to do. So, And then if you want a recording, no streaming, again, you can do the chroma key in the other editing software. You don't have to do the chroma key on OBS, just do it in another video editing software like Premiere Pro. Same with VC Face. Okay, now let's talk about animes. Animes have a lot of default background, which is really fun. If you just wanted to talk in front of the camera and then don't need like any specific background, I think animes is a great choice. And you can also change your voice. And um, like you can see, you can choose like this, this gaming chair. And then we suggest you to use the chroma key enable scenes like this one you have the gaming chair and also the green background and then you can also like when you move that your your chair is moving as well so we really i really suggest this if you have a simple it's easy very simple to set up if you wanted to make a quick video quick streaming video that's a great way to do the animes they also have the virtual camera function too Unlike 310, you will have to click on the virtual camera enable button. So don't forget that. Here I choose here I choose this hot tub as one of the example as the example and then let's let's see how how it looks. And yeah, now you can add this uh, virtual no uh, virtual capture device on the OBS and choose animes as a virtual camera because it's the same with the virtual camera. We mentioned with virtual camera function, you can use for Skype. They will recognize as a webcam, right? So add this video capture device on the OBS now and press OK. Now you have to do the same keying process as the same with the 310 and like we'll show in the background. Same step with before. When you choose green, the last step when you choose green, the green color is slightly different than the default. Then, then the green we mentioned, that 00FF00, is a slightly different. 
So instead of choosing this default color, you have to do the custom color. Select color and pick the screen color, then pick the color from the screen and press OK. As you can see, the edge is still a bit green, so make the adjustment. So now I'm in the bathtub, ding, ding, ding. And you don't need to key the color. Again, when you do recording, only do it when you in doing the streaming. All the other keying color process, you can do in another video, video editing software with uh, same with return and VC phase. So basically with the whole process, as you can see, compared with all these three software, the difference is we, when, when we're recording videos like this and we want to add different kind of background video, we use VC face most of the time because you can have the transparent background easy to set up. If you want to do streaming, like what we try to do with Twitch on Twitch channel, we usually use 310. We will use 310 because the best part of a 310 is you can have two characters to do streaming at the same time. And then animes is fun and easy to set up and easy to do like fast streaming video with your avatar. So choose what you prefer and choose what is the best for you. Depends on the situation, I think three of them are amazing, especially if you use OBS. So all the process doesn't really take that long time. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, cool. Thank you. For, thank you guys for watching and we'll continue making exciting new videos. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week.